What is up everybody? Chris, Dan, Juan from Team Aquascape out here with four other CACs ready to start an incredible pondless waterfall back here in this gorgeous property not too far from our shop. Today's project we are going to be totally transforming this space right here with a pondless waterfall. Woo! You guys ready to roll? Let's do this! build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So as I said, everybody, we have a Palace waterfall today. We are going to completely transform this space right here. We're gonna rip up all these steps and steppers in through here, pull out the hydrangeas, pull out the sedum, put a reservoir here with 12 large aqua blocks and twist and turn using moss rock to create an incredible meandering Palace waterfall. We've got about a three and a half foot grade change from up there to down here. So we should be able to pull off some pretty incredible drops and cascades in this waterfall. We've got a few challenges, but not many. So so fingers crossed we don't run into any issues. The equipment has already been delivered. We've got a Cat 308 sitting all the way back over there. But first things first is we've got to take out all of these hydrangeas, all the sedum, get everything prepped, and then we're going to spray out a bed line. But we're going to remove a lot of this grass going all in through here, and then we will get rid of it in the truck and dump it back over on our shop. First things first, lay out. of the sod and the little clippings getting pulled out of here. Everything's dumped over there in the bed of our truck and here is all of the stone. Gorgeous, gorgeous moss rock. We have some enormous pieces over here so it's a good thing we have that 308. Just so, so cool just to see all the character and a lot of this stuff. You've got the lichens, there's moss growing on it, just all the different coloration and stuff. Just looks absolutely stunning and incredible. Look at this. at the size of this rock. Huge, but it's got all the cool character. Just you know I mean? so beautiful and it's so fun to work with. footprint of our 12 large aqua box. We had to shift it just a little bit. We've got some electric that we're gonna have to pay attention to. It looks like it comes out from the house, comes this way, and then ends up going over to an outlet back over there. So we'll just hand dig this corner. Dan's up top in a very large machine for a very small hole, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing dug and then we'll carve back probably another wedge. Um, but first we want to get this dug, make sure our aqua blocks and everything fit, and then we'll start shaping out our pooling area. So there we are, reservoir is in, there's our pump vault. Now how's our pump? We got our 12 aqua box, we overdug, and then filled with cobbles and some large gravel all the way around. Increase the water volume a little bit, but it prevents us from having to fold the liner back and forth, back and forth, and backfill along the edges. Saves us time. We had the material. You know, it, it all just, it's a judgment thing that uh, whether or not we're gonna do that time and time again. But the gravel inside the liner allows us to keep all the aqua box under compression, which makes them fully functional and stable for us to start setting some of these big boulders on. So we need to start off setting elevations we're gonna have this kind of stepper pathway leading up around this light post here leading around to the left and then it will dog leg back right going over a bridge or a stepper bridge element on the back side of the waterfalls that's gonna sit right there so we're gonna take lunch hopefully it cools down and then we'll get back at it out here at our Palos Waterfall project, the start of day two. It's still about the same. We got a little bit of rain last night, but we managed to get the reservoir in and get this entire area rocked. Minus some of the little detail work. We've got the waterfall built. We've got some of our steps coming back up this way. We brought another pallet of Black Hills Rustic out with us, but we are going to work our way through the steps as well as this next section of stream over into here, and then just start pushing through and getting a lot of this detailed stuff done today. 
it. So we are going to have a huge day out here on the project. So weather will definitely be in our favor. Sun's out, it's gonna dry things up. Gun's out and Papa's back. Woo! Papa is back. So you ready to do this today? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Buddy. It is absolutely amazing how a little bit of green will completely transform a space, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Icing on the cake. It just makes you feel so good when stuff starts going in. So we're putting all this stone crop that we harvested from all in this area back in, just kind of tucking it in so we can see some of the progress and finished product, I think, is more what we're looking for. And it just makes it look so much more finished and special looking when that's done. So we still have an enormous amount of work ahead of us and we are getting there. Elise is over here trenching in the plumbing line and we're gonna put our pump in here then we'll cover all that with this big gravel and through here we're gonna run a big bib liner as we've called it in other videos all along here to get that water to flow in amongst these rocks so we're digging out that upper pool the area back there for our next set of waterfalls is dropping in right behind the bridge element once we get that dug we'll fold the liner back and we'll show you exactly how that looks Yes, you guessed it. We are back out here for the final day of this project. We finished our week one or our last week with some of the CACs that were out here visiting us. We now have a couple new faces out here. We've got Cody and Johnny from River Rock Water Gardens from the Arkansas, Oklahoma line. They are already jumping right in, getting ready to finish up edges. We are filling up some of these pooling areas. We're going to go ahead and turn everything on and just kind of see what's happening over here. You can see Cody up there just kind of buttoning up, pulling away some of that excess foam. This is one of those weep areas that we talked about earlier in the video so we're losing some of that water back behind these rocks in through here so we're gonna have probably a piece of pipe in here just to create a channel for any excess water to get back behind this frame rock and then we'll throw in a bunch of retaining stones back in here and get that liner up high and water level up there good all in through here you see this is all filling in through here and then we'll get that water to cascade over this rock right there. One of the things that we have to consider is the elevation of water level in this pooling area all the way back up and through here. I'm interested when we fire up that pump how thick this water is going to be over this stone in through here and what it's going to do when it backs up in between these bridge stones. So we're going to fire everything up with everything full, all the pooling areas, and then we'll come in here and do our edges. It's always a good idea for you guys and girls out there to finish edges with the stream running so you know exactly exactly where water is moving and how high that liner needs to be. So we are actually going to fire this thing up and get it running and then start doing all of our edges and then we'll come in and we'll do all the retaining wall work, cleanup work, that kind of stuff thereafter. So that's what we're gonna work on this morning. We'll get a good head start on it and then we'll start working our way out of this project and getting this thing looking absolutely stunning. So still a lot of work ahead of us, but we're definitely gonna finish this thing and have it look mint by the end of the day today. It is that time. You can hear the sounds of running water. We are wrapped on this project and it turned out, oh my God, so gorgeous. It was a huge team effort, not only by Team Aquascape, but also the guys from Prairie Creek Ponds down in Texas. We had Cody and Johnny come in from Riverbed Builders. We've got Joseph from Sequatica that helped us as part of this project. We were out here for a total of three and a half days. Juan, Luis, DK, myself, along with those guys, created a work of art on this one. and. I'm so, so happy and thrilled with how it turned out. I love the interactivity of it. I love the sights and the sounds. I love the way the rock fit together. It just fits the hillside and the terrain so well. You guys wanna look at it? You want to? All right, let's check this out. Here's that walkout basement that we've been using as one of our viewing areas. Just a really cool patio, but there it is, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen of all ages. Check this thing out. This is our reservoir. This is that 12 small aqua block system. We've got our pump vault located underneath these cobbles. 
variables. You've got a four to 7,000 gallon per hour SLB solid handling pump in there with a two inch line running all the way up around to our spillway. But here is that step system that we worked out. So we've got a landing right off the patio, come down to this awesome triangular piece, which actually delineates and moves the water around it. Really, really cool, all dry. And of course we walk up here. Here's our stepper pathway leading us over to yet again another peekaboo bridge where you can see the water coming in between the two slabs of stone turned out so awesome which leads you out to another little step down you got water super thick water in this area this is probably about eight nine inches of water down at the base which gives it that deep bassy sound again back up there we've got more of a canyon style or pinch waterfalls pitcher style waterfalls we worked a lot of the plants back in the hydrangeas because it's so hot obviously took a, quite a beating but we cut them back they're gonna water the snot out of them and in another month or so this will all be nice and full back in We've got daylilies, irises. We put in a lot of the spurge back in in some of these areas, which were naturalized. We've got some plant pockets inside the liner with very, very minimal water coming to it. So that spurge will just take off. We've got pathway lights. We've got three watt lights down here, highlighting these cooling areas and waterfalls. The whole system has turned out absolutely incredible. I love the interactivity of it. I love the way the rock fits together. Such a neat project. I love the shape of this sheet water in here how it kind of zigzags back and forth in through here there is a bib liner that stops right about here now we've got it overfilled right now so when the water level drops below the aqua blocks water will still travel on top of that liner down into here and then infiltrate back down in the aqua blocks right about here is where we stop that bib liner the reason we didn't come all the way here is we want to make sure that we leave enough infiltration area because we do have overstory deciduous trees stuff is going to fall into the stream so at the time of leaf drop all that stuff collects comes down the stream and it will all collect in one central area here if that area is too small then it can get clogged very very easily and quickly more importantly and what will happen is, is it will start to leak it water will be pumped out faster than it can get back to the pump and then overflow these edges and suck the pump the pomace waterfall dry but it turned out absolutely gorgeous i love it such such a cool let me come around to this angle and give you another look at it so there's that walkout base They've got an upper deck. You can see they obviously have an outdoor dining table here. They've got a walkway over to their pool. So just a total gathering space. And what better way to really finish it off with a gorgeous homeless waterfall back here. Get a little bit of turf restoration. This is where the machine came in and out. But we've got a retaining wall along the back side. Very, very common with the retaining walls that you see us build. We do not like to do big solid retaining walls. We like to leave these room for plants in front of, behind, and in between a lot of these rocks. Just to naturalize it we don't want it to look like a rock quarry the plants as you've heard us talk just tie everything back together but it just turned out absolutely incredible i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was so much fun to build this incredible piece of art here thank you so much for watching if you have any questions on how it was constructed please let us know in the comments section below huge shout out again to prairie creek aquatica and riverbed builders thanks for being a part of this build until next time guys and girls we will see you later bye